Hi guys, I wanted to, to take a minute today to talk about something I've been seeing. I've, I've taken a few weeks here and kind of traveled around uh, southern Illinois, Missouri, and southern Indiana, Kentucky. And, uh, and what I found was everything looks really good from the road. Um, but this April planted corn, especially this April planted corn in southern Illinois, uh, had a pretty tough start. So we were under a lot of stress early. Uh, actually got a frost on it. It struggled coming up out of the ground. A lot of that took three, four weeks, um, even over a month to, to come up out of the ground. So we knew we had some uneven emergence. And we always talk about that and wait till the soil is at a right temperature to plant corn. Um, but wanted to follow up a little bit later in season and see what that actually means. Uh, maybe in terms of yield, um, where that where that's going to influence later on the season. So. Uh, we always see what it looks like on the combine monitor, but don't always know exactly what's going on out in the field. So what we're seeing out in this field is we're starting to see some pollination issues. So uh, in this part of the field where the water ran, um, we had a lot more late emergers, uh, a little bit tougher condition, uh, trying to get that corn out of the ground. What we're seeing is we're seeing a pretty, pretty decent difference in ear size, unfortunately. So uh, there's not a lot of these smaller ears. Uh, however, you can walk and find mm -hmm. some, and that's that's obviously something that's going to influence yield this fall. So, so what I've done is I've I've actually counted the rows around on each of these bigger ones. Um, one of them 16, one of them 18, and they're both about 40 long. Now, obviously that that can change as we move later in the season, uh, whether we're going to fill these ears clear out to the tip, or we're going to start to pull back if we have some stress. However, on this little ear here, while it is about 16 around. We've got a lot of pollination issues out here towards the tip. So um, right now today, I would probably only count this about 25 long. I would say it's, it's optimistic to call this year 16 by 25. Uh, however, even at those numbers, we've got a 100 bushel difference between these ears here and this ear here. Now, um, obviously we're not gonna see that big a swing as, as we like to think we've got a lot more of these bigger ones than we've got the smaller ones. But it's definitely something that's going to influence yield and it's something we need to consider as we're making those planting decisions early in season. Uh, what type of conditions we're planting into, what type of weather we're planting into, uh, and maybe think about letting those soils warm up a little bit so we've got a lot more even immersions um, and we've got a lot more, more even ear size as we move later in the season. So we've got some later planted corn um, towards the end of May, even early June. We'll keep an eye on we'll keep you up to date as as we move forward into pollination with it and see what those look like uh, hoping that's going to be a lot more consistent uh, but right now everything looks really good uh, as you can see from the pictures we've got the nitrogen taken care of we've got good plant health i think we'll add some weight to these kernels we'll probably be all right yield wise if, if the rains continue we, we continue to have the good weather that we've had here the, the last month of july um, Right now, everything looks really well. I think we've, we've got a lot of yield potential out here, but, but just wanted to keep you up to date on some of the things we're finding. Uh, a little bit of difference in ear size as we move through these tougher areas of the field. And, um, and it's something we need to think about as we move into 2021 and start thinking about our plants.